Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about the round function in Excel. Well, it does not make the objects round. What it does is especially useful for anyone doing accountancy or anything related to that. It rounds up or rounds down the values to the nearest ones, tens, thousand. Or if it is in decimal, then you can round it up to one, two or three decimal places and so on. So watch this video till the end to learn the ways of using the round and some bonus tips and tricks for you at the end. Well, let me start with the function and its parameters. So it is round bracket start the number which you want to round off, whether it's rounding up or rounding down and then followed by the number of digits in number of digits. It can be anything from zero, one, two, three in positive side or minus one, minus two, minus three on the negative side. I will tell you all the options on how you can use it, the negatives and the positives. So let's get started. Here I have made a sample data wherein I have the financial year starting from April until the March and sales target for let's say Tom was 2,20,000 rupees for the entire year or when broken down into months. It was 18,333 rupees per month. This was for the last year, let's say for the financial year 1920 and for the year financial year 2021, the sales target increased by seven and a half percent per month or when it was 18,333 and we add seven and a half percent, it becomes 19,708.3333 and so on. So when we are writing, we will not always write 19708.3333. We will just round it off and write it as 19708 rupees. So what it will do is even though it might look the same, what is the difference between 19708.33, just 33 paisa per month or 19708 rupees re reducing the 33 paisa. But at the end of the day, if I look at the totals, it is 2,36,500 to be precise or 2,36,496 rupees. So there is a difference of 4 rupees. Now just imagine if there were 1 lakh people working for my organization, 4 rupees in one person's salary and 4 lakh rupees will be the minimum thing that can be a difference. So how do you deal in such a situation? Well, to ensure that Excel gives you the same amount or when you are calculating, you get the same amount rounded off to certain extent. You use the formula round. And here, if I come to the cell H and four, you can see I've already used the function and the function is I will use round. I will type R O U and it's showing me various options available. I'm pressing tab so that I can go to the round function. Now it's asking me to select the number. What I will do here is I will select E four which is 19,708 rupees 33, 33 paisa comma. Now it's asking me number of digits. As you can see what I have done above round zero, round one, round two, round minus one and round minus two. So in the first instance, what we will see is what is the result if we choose zero as the number of digits. So I will select zero and I will close the bracket and enter. Well, as you can see, it has rounded off my new target for the month of April from 19,708 rupees 33 paisa to the nearest full figure or the whole number. So it is now 19,708. Let me highlight this so that you can see what I'm talking about. So using round the number and comma zero in number digits has basically converted the digits or the number to the nearest whole number. Now, if we have to do the same thing, but instead of zero, if we want to do one, I will tell you what it will do is equal to round tab. Let me select the same figure comma and instead of zero, this time I select one, close the bracket, enter. So now you can see what it has done is it has rounded off the sales target for the month of April to one decimal digit place, which means what it was earlier showing as 19,708.3333 and so on has been brought down to one decimal place and it is 19,708.3. 
I know it is showing 0 0.30, but as you may know, zero after the decimal has no value. So it is similar to 19,708.3. Just to be clear, let me just remove one decimal from here. So it is 19,708.3. Now let me come to the next part where I want to round it to the two decimal places is equal to round tab. I will select the same value again, comma two. So now you will see earlier we had the option or earlier we had the figure of 19,708.3333. Now I have the result as 19,708.33. Let me increase the decimals and show you after three in three, that is two decimal places, they're all zeros. And again, zeros after the decimals have no value. So the figure will be read as 19,708 rupees and 33 paisa. Now, what will happen if we do minus one or minus two? Let's see. Round tab, the same value, comma, minus one this time. Any guesses what will happen? Well, let's see. Enter. Now, what it has done is when we go on the positive side, it rounds the figures on the decimal side. But if we go on the negative side, that is minus one, minus two, minus three, it will round off the figure on the whole number side. That is ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. So now, because we selected minus one, it has rounded off the value to the nearest tens. So instead of 708, it is showing 710 because it is rounding off to the tens. Now, if I choose minus two, it will round off to the nearest hundreds. So the answer should be 19,700. Let's see, is equal to round the same value comma minus two bracket close enter. Here you go. So now you know how to use the round function in round. You know what will zero minus one minus two or plus one and plus two do and so on. If you are looking for a value where maybe you want to not only do it to the hundreds or thousands, but you want to do it in lakhs. So if I form, copy this formula down and change the value from E to F where I had 2,36,496 and press enter. You will see it is rounding it off to the nearest hundreds, which means it has converted 2,36,496 to 2,36,500. ,000 but now if I want it in lakhs, instead of minus two, I will just make it a minus five and enter. Here you can see it has rounded it off since it is less than 2,50,000 something. So it has rounded it off by bringing it down to two lakhs and you can see the value two lakhs. Well, friends, this is very useful if you're using accountancy or you use it in places where there are fractions or there are a lot of places after decimals and you're not getting the exact answer. The benefit is I will show you now if I put it down since I have rounded it, I press auto sum and click enter. Now both my values over here, I will highlight it shows the same value this is one option and if i would have rounded it off to the nearest ones or twos let me show you what will happen one second so let me simply just do auto sum control r control a alt o c a and here you can see rounding it off to the nearest one decimal will give you 2,36,499 rupees 60 paisa to the nearest Two decimal places it will give you 2,36,500 similar to what we had earlier or the basic actual amount had it been rounding it to the nearest tens it would have given me 2,36,520 rupees and similarly to the nearest hundreds it would have given me 2,36,400 rupees so friends, I hope you know now how to use the round function. There are a couple of ancillaries to the round, round up, round down and M round, which I will be covering in the later videos. So if you like this video, please click like, leave a comment. If you did not understand anything or you want more clarity, press subscribe and also on the bell icon so that you get notifications for all the future videos. And please share it with your friends and family so that they can also take advantage of it. Thanks a lot friends. Take care. Bye bye.